In this short video recording, we're going to take a look at uh, settings management as found inside of Carlson software. We're going to look at the settings management from the perspective of creating a brand new drawing and then also setting up default values from an overall project configuration standpoint. To begin, I'm going to use the Startup Wizard dialog box to create a brand new drawing. And when I do this, I'm prompted for uh, settings that are going to be associated with this given drawing that I want to create. So I'll go ahead and create a brand new drawing that will house survey data for a project that I want to create. And as I work through this particular drawing, I can deviate from the default horizontal scale and specify my own desired value. And as I work through and create uh, symbol plot sizes, for uh, both the symbols and the, the text that are going to be in my drawing, we'll use the product of the horizontal scale and the, the symbol or text plot size to, to derive the uh, drawing units that the data will be placed into my drawing. As I choose next, I have additional information that I can work with, uh, but I'll just exit right into my drawing and uh, have those settings then ready to go. If I decide later on that I want to change the settings for a given drawing, I can go into my settings menu and choose drawing setup. The current settings will be red for my current drawing and I can choose to make the changes here. So if I decide that I want to plot this out at a 1 to 20 scale or resize information, new data coming into my drawing for a 20 scale drawing, uh, in this particular example I can do that. If I also decide that I want to change um, into a different unit of measurement and maybe into the SI um, metric system, for example, or if I want to change uh, angles uh, from bearing into maybe azimuth or the uh, essentially the metric-based GAN system, I can do that. And uh, for a given drawing, I can also set up a particular projection system. So in this particular example, if I have a uh, a data set that's going to be worked with inside of the, uh, well, as an example, the Iowa North coordinate system, I can choose that for this particular drawing setup. If I want to establish default values for the software for a, uh, from a company standpoint or an over, overall project view, viewpoint, I can go into the settings menu and choose Carlson Configure. And when I go into Carlson Configure, I have the ability to choose data uh, types and formats for all of the different uh, portions of the inside of the software. So as an example, when I get into a new drawing and I want to establish default values for every new project coming in, I can say I want to utilize maybe a 40 scale for all my projects uh, for my horizontal scale, maybe a 1 inch equals 4 feet uh, for my horizontal or vertical scale. And again, the default uh, symbol and text sizes that are going to come in. Uh, I can also choose the default symbol type that will be placed with my points. So if, uh, for example, I want to use a plus or an X, I can choose that desired symbol. Indicate a desired attribute layout ID, which is the, uh, the, the way that the point attributes will display with the point itself. Again, the desired angle format. And if I know that I'm always going to be doing or developing uh, work in a given area, again, I can choose the coordinate system zone that uh, my projects will be created in uh, as I work through different client data sets. Once I have all my settings from the drawing setup established, uh, I might also want to take a look at uh, some of the startup settings. So, for example, I have overridden the uh, Carlson DWT file with that of the National CAD standards for my survey configuration. And uh, that gives me the ability then to choose a, uh, a different template file that uh, I will use to create new projects as they are started. I can also go through and set up given project data folders. So by default, uh, I'm telling uh, Carlson to uh, place all the data files associated with a given drawing into the same folder as the drawing itself. Uh, I can indicate where that drawing folder should be started with by default, and then also where any uh, settings can be stored or should be stored as I'm working through the software. This is also where we get into the, uh, the concept of the data depot, which will be covered in a different video.
Once I've established my project settings, uh, I might want to then uh, package up all the different settings that have been uh, specified via the Carlson configure routine so that I can share those settings with other users in my office. So I'll take the settings that I have established right now and choose a save as. And by default, I'll go out to my Carlson settings folder and I'll call this my company standard. And we'll package up all the different settings into a configuration file or which has a CFG extension. So once I save this, we'll take out all the different settings and we'll write them out to a single CFG file. And that single CFG file can then be placed on a server or emailed to individual users within my organization who can then just simply go ahead and choose the load option to load those settings. Once I click exit, for this particular computer, it's going to ask me, do I want to change these settings for my current drawing and all future drawings, or leave my current drawing alone and just change the settings for all future drawings, for just the future drawings? So I have the choice of how to apply these settings uh, for my given project. So that's a quick overview on how to set up project settings and drawing settings at the startup wizard along with changing those settings once you've created the drawing and then also establishing them uh, as default settings for all new projects going forward. Thank you for your time.